Welcome back everyone. Today we learn about mechanism of dialysis. We will be studying the various structures and functions of the features of the dialysis machine. Firstly, the dialysis machine consists of a coiled tube. This tubing is narrow, long, and coiled. This increases the surface area to volume ratio, speeding up the rate of diffusion of substances between the blood and dialysis fluid. Additionally, the wall of the coiled tube is semi-permeable. Only small substances such as glucose, amino acids, and urea can pass through. Red blood cells, platelets, and other large molecules will remain in the tubing. Do take note that only urea will diffuse out of the blood as there is equal concentration of glucose and amino acids between the blood and the dialysis fluid. Secondly, let's look at what is in the dialysis fluid. As mentioned earlier, the dialysis fluid contains the same concentration of essential substances as the blood. This is to prevent diffusion of essential substances out of the blood and to prevent osmotic shock from occurring as well. The dialysis fluid contains no metabolic waste. To allow waste products such as urea, uric acid, creatinine and excess water and mineral salts to diffuse out into the dialysis fluid. The dialysis fluid has to be changed regularly to remove waste substances and to maintain the steep concentration gradient. Also, the dialysis fluid is maintained at body temperature. To ensure that blood re-enters the body at body temperature, preventing hypothermia. Lastly, let's look at the blood. The direction of blood flow is opposite to the direction of flow of dialysis fluid. This helps to maintain the steep concentration gradient of waste products for maximum removal of waste products between blood and dialysis fluid. Blood drawn is added with anti-clotting chemicals. To prevent blood from clotting in the dialysis machine. That's all for today. Thank you for the effort to learn with me. Stay tuned for more interesting lessons. See you next time. Bye-bye.